We are entering a new era in the tech industry. Everything is changing. It used to be the case that to become a software engineer, earning 100, 200K a year, you needed an expensive computer science degree, but not anymore. We are entering the era of online education and there are tons of young programmers who are taking 100k plus a year as a self-taught software engineer with no previous experience in coding. How do I know this? Because I did it. I learned to code all on my own online with no computer science degree and no experience in just four months and I got a job as a software engineer at a really large company and it changed my life. Now just because I got these results doesn't mean you will. Because the downside of online education is that there is a ton of crap out there. I have gone through literally 40 plus different coding courses online and a lot of them are quite frankly a complete waste of time. So let me go ahead and save you the hundreds of hours I have spent going through all these different options out there and give you the ones that actually work. And in addition, I will also distill these courses down into a few curated roadmaps based on the best coding courses I have personally tried that work for regular average people. So all you have to do is pick a roadmap based on your budget and just blindly follow it like a robot and eventually you'll just learn the code. So these are the criteria that we will use to evaluate these different courses. Number one, comprehensiveness. Does it give you everything in one place? Two, production value. Is the material high quality and something that's actually nice to look at? Three, practice focus. Will it help you build real projects or is it more just theoretical fluff that's really difficult to understand? Number four, teaching style. Is it easy to understand for beginners? And lastly, job hunt help. Will it help you with resumes, LinkedIn strategies, and interview skills so that you can actually take your coding skills and get an actual job? So what we'll do now is compare different coding learning resource providers slash like cross categories to see how they match up in these categories. Okay, so we've got our matrix in here. No, not that kind of matrix this kind of matrix and we will rank these different courses slash course providers in these different categories and if the category for that course is good we'll color the thing green if it is okay it's going to be yellow and if it's bad then it's going to be red and the first one we'll be looking at is what you're watching right now which is a free option uh called youtube so on youtube there are tons of different Great and obviously not so great coding like courses and tutorials and these kinds of things that you can watch. Uh, but the first big downside of YouTube is that it's not going to be very comprehensive or if it is, you'll have to use a ton of time to find all the different pieces. And this is actually a really big problem because like as a beginner, like when I was a beginner, I had no idea what I had to learn, what to start with, what I needed to learn next, what were all the things I needed to know to land a job. So YouTube is, I think, a good platform to use to sort of plug in some holes or learn when you know a very specific thing you want to learn or to do some like very niche thing inside of perhaps one of your projects. YouTube is really great, but it's not going to be very comprehensive. It is not very like feasible to use YouTube as a full resource to learn the code. So for comprehensiveness, it'll be red. Production value, now this is gonna depend. So I'm just gonna put yellow in here because if you're watching a really amazing YouTuber like, like me, uh, then the production quality is obviously gonna be amazing. Practice, um, now again, this is gonna be highly dependent, but YouTube does have a lot of like very practical tutorials where you can just follow a tutorial and then practically build something. But I'm also gonna put yellow because it just really depends a lot. Teaching style, again, same thing. It's sort of gonna depend. And job hunt help, I would actually put red because I haven't really found that much content on YouTube. Like, let me know down below if you have. Just like helping people build resumes, LinkedIn. Like there's channels that help you do this. Uh, but again, it's not gonna be like very comprehensive. It's sort of like you need to find the right thing. So if you're looking for a very specific thing on YouTube, you can find it. So YouTube, like a great platform overall to learn specific things, but as a full resource, for me, it never really worked that well. So the next one we'll go to is CS50. And these guys, they have a lot of different courses. They have the introductory computer science course. They have the web development course. They have the Python course, the AI course. CS50 has a very, very warm place in my heart for two reasons. It was where I got my own excitement for programming. And also it's where one of my earlier videos on this YouTube channel took off because I actually made a review on this their computer science course, as well as their web development course. And those two videos were some of the videos that took my channel off in the beginning. But generally I would say CS50, where it really excels is the production value. And to the point where I can literally, when I'm 
getting inspiration for my own like premium uh, course, my paid program on like the production and how I wanna teach programming. Like this is where I get my inspiration. It is literally the highest quality programming course you will ever find out there. And it's gonna be the perfect place for you to start. And they're completely free as well. You can pay for there, like some certificate, but basically you also get a free certificate when you go through the program. So absolutely no reason to pay for it. Still to this day, probably my favorite courses. I think everyone should do at least the computer science one. It will just make you excited about programming. Uh, it makes you literally want to nerd out, learn about algorithms and freaking stuff like that. So for teaching style and production value, absolutely green. If it could be more than green, it would be. Practice also, I would say green, um, but where it really falls short is in the comprehensiveness because ZS50, what it's designed to be is an introduction. It's not designed to be the one path that like it gives you everything you need and things like this. And especially for job hunting, like that's not really what they're focused on, which makes sense. Uh, you're not really gonna get any of it out there. So if you wanna use these skills to get a job, you'll need to either go through a very painful process to learn this through trial and error, or go through a program that actually teaches this. And we'll talk about that in a moment. Next, what we will look at is uh, the Odin project. Now this is also something that I did in my journey of learning the code online for free in four months, uh, which is the topic of my most popular YouTube video is right there. I didn't actually complete the entire one. I completed like the first section of it. I would say it's really good in terms of it is actually quite comprehensive. It will teach you everything you need to know from zero to becoming a web developer. Uh, but what it falls short is sort of the opposite of CS50. I did not like the production value. Basically, it does not have any production value at all because it's mostly a text based resource. And that's also the reason why I wasn't really able to stick to it till the end because it was very, very boring in the style that it was. It might be absolutely right for you, but for me, it really wasn't. Practice, it has some of it. Um, actually, I, I would even say it might even be green because it has uh, has a lot of projects in, in there. So I do like it for that as well. Again, teaching style non-existent because there is no teaching. It's just like articles, uh, job hunt help. There's some of it at the end. Uh, yeah, we can say yellow. We can say it gives, there's like a small section at the end that teaches you about some of the basics about resumes and like how to find companies to apply to. So these are the free options. So if you were to select a completely free path and you just don't have any money, what I would do is just start with CS50 and then do the Odin project. Just do the two of these things. And at the end of it, if you are able to go through the entire Odin project, which is a long process, technically you'll have everything you need. And at the end, you'll just have to start applying. You'll sort of have to figure out like how to apply for jobs like make your linkedin like sort of trial and error to figure out which resumes work like you won't really have any templates unless you can find them online and then plug in the holes with youtube so if there's anything specific that you're looking for just search it up on youtube and look up a tutorial for it that is literally a free path that you can do right now if you have zero money to your bank account and you want to learn to code you have absolutely no excuse you can just use these resources and learn to code now we'll move on to some like cheap options the first one is going to be coursera I have a lot of love for coursera and we'll define that as less than a hundred dollars so coursera i feel like is a great platform again to learn like topics what i mean by topics is let's say you want to learn about especially computer science topics like you want to learn about the theory of programming languages you want to learn about computer architecture coursera has some of the best courses for this purpose because and it makes sense because coursera what it is is basically like online university level education. So if you're looking to learn the types of things that you'd normally learn in university, but you don't want to actually go to university or you don't want it so much that you're willing to pay like tuition and everything, Coursera is the place to go. One of my favorite computer science courses of all time is NAND to Tetris. That's where I learned everything I know today about how computers work behind the scenes. So what is RAM? How does a CPU work? How is the entire computer architecture? And actually this is something that is not the most important thing to learn, but something that you should sort of like learn on the side at some point as a programmer, because I feel like every now and then it really helps me to understand the underlying details of how, how the computer that we are using to program actually works. So these kind of courses are really good. There is the learning to learn course, which I think everyone should do. And I'll list down a couple of other ones down below. Again, if you want to learn a specific programming language, there's going to be a specific programming language courses like C, C++ and things like this. If you look at this based on this framework, comprehensiveness, I would say not very 
uh, well, it could be comprehensive for if you want to learn a computer science. So again, this is more of a computer science learning platform than a coding learning platform. Production value, mm, it can be good, but probably usually not. It's more of like university lecture style. If you like that, then great. I think just it's really boring. Often the teachers are like basically like university professors, are like really old and uh, just like very theoretical. So I don't like the production value. I don't like the teaching style either. Uh, practice is often pretty good, um, but also they can be very theoretical. So it sort of depends. Job hunt help, not really. So okay, so it looks pr pretty red. It looks pretty bad for Coursera, but it's because it's really meant for a different purpose. It's meant to learn theoretical things like just learning things for the sake of like, you just want to understand some specific topic around computers and around some theoretical concepts. Um, you might disagree about this, but like that's what I'm giving to Coursera. I would actually put, okay, I'll put production value to yellow so that we're not so looking so bad because this is not actually representative of how I feel about it. Next cheap category is going to be zero to mastery. Zero to mastery is I think if you have some money to invest into yourself, but not that much, then Zero to Mastery is probably the best bet because with one subscription, you get access to like, I think 40 plus courses and things like that. I would say it's reasonably comprehensive. Uh, production value wise, I would say it's okay. It's just like very simple, like tutorial videos, videos after videos, things like this. Practice, I think it's again, okay. A lot of them it's just videos and there's like problems and things like this. Teaching style, I think, is really great. I love the engaging style. That's pretty my favorite part about this platform. Uh, job hunt help, again, it, it's okay. Some of the courses, they include a lot of very useful tips on building resumes and like things like this. Maybe not as comprehensive as I'd like, but pretty good. So overall, a really great option if you don't have that much budget, but you are willing to invest into something a bit more comprehensive and a bit more premium in terms of engaging style and things like this. Now, if you're looking for a roadmap that is cheap, so less than $100, because I think the subscription is like $30 with a couple of months, maybe it'll go slightly above 100, but anyway, in that range, if you do zero to master with web developer course, zero to mastery react course and zero to mastery data structure and algorithms course so if you either flat broke or you just have a little bit of money these are going to be great options but the issue with a lot of these options is as you see most of them teach one part of programming really well but then you need to go and pick up another one and you need to like sort of stitch together this roadmap for yourself and you still need to figure out a lot of details at the end about how to actually turn these skills into an actual job because it would suck to spend like six months learning the code only for them at the end for you to have no idea how to actually like speak to recruiters how to get them to contact you and maybe you'll end up spending another six months just looking for a job so that is where these next more premium options really come in first is my baby my flagship program called python developer bootcamp so the way i made this is that the purpose of this one program is to take you completely from scratch to learning all the skills you need in program to become a python developer and actually get a job as a junior developer but really it's more than a coding course like i didn't just want to make yet another coding course because what you get inside is a lot more than that. First, let's run through the core program. In the first module, we'll learn Python programming fundamentals. Programming is really broken down to like five core fundamentals. And if you just master these fundamentals and you understand conceptually how they work, what they mean, why we use them, you'll be so much more equipped to actually learn anything else around programming. So that's why we spent a lot of time on this in the beginning. And once you come out of this module, you're ready to learn some of the more advanced topics. But before that, we also learn about some of the sort of mindsets and productivity hacks of programmers to like really master Master your learning process and make sure that during the process of learning the code, you are like maximizing your chances of actually retaining the information that you're learning. And then module three, we move on to some of the more advanced topics like object oriented programming, after which we move on to web development, where you learn everything about HTML, CSS and JavaScript, as well as Django in the back end to like build literal full stack websites just inside of this one module. Everything you need for that. After that, we get into perhaps the most important part of your programming journey, which is building projects so that you can take any project idea and build it into reality with a proven 
framework. And right now I'm also developing extra content inside of here where I literally walk you through multiple projects so you see exactly how I personally build projects and also most importantly, what kinds of projects you need to be building to have the best chance of getting recruiters to notice you and to see your resume as the kind of thing that wants them to give you a job. And last but not least, we learned the one thing that is missing from like all the other resources that I personally went through as a beginner, which is actual job hunt help. And this last module is really where a lot of the value of the price you're paying comes in. I've personally worked for some pretty massive companies. And if that doesn't convince you, I've also personally helped people get hired. I even did one-on-one -on -one coaching last year where I was charging thousands of dollars to teach this information just in this one module to my clients. But now it's all inside of this one program. So you don't have to pay thousands or even a thousand to get lifetime access to everything that is in there now, as well as in the future. And that is my promise to you. And lastly, of course, if you try it and you don't like it, Within 14 days, all you have to do is email me and with no questions asked, I will give you all of your money back. Oh, and one last thing, just for those of you who watch this video, I also have a little gift to add. So you can use the code 40 courses for a sweet additional little discount at the checkout as well. Now, if this is still not enough and you want to not only have this full path in one place, but also you want to have like one-on-one -on -one mentoring as well as dedicated help at the end to actually get the job and to actually be part of a program that has direct connections to these employers and you're able to invest even more money, there is also the course careers introduction to the software development program. So this one is even more premium prices. I think it's like $800 and I'm affiliated with them. So if you buy it, I believe I get like 40 or 45% commission. So basically you buy this one, I get the same commission as the full price of my own program would be. So I actually have no bias towards this one or the other one. So which if you are willing to invest more money, just choose whichever one is the right for you. The value that you get in this one that is more expensive. And by the way, this one is taught by Tech with Tim, the YouTuber with a million subscribers, who's also my really good friend. He's probably going to be moving out here to Dubai with me, which is going to be really exciting. But the value you get in it is that they have direct connections to employees at the end. And it's literally purpose built to help every single person who signs up to get a job at the end. For both of these, now obviously I'm going to be biased for my own one and the reason I've developed the way that it is developed is specifically so that it would be green in all of these categories. And the same goes for course careers going to be green and comprehensive is great production value, practice focused. And obviously at these price points, if these two were anything else, I wouldn't really be recommending them anyway, because at these price points, you do expect to get like everything in one place and you do. Uh, what you simply have to do is Decide which one is better value for the price. Would you rather pay slightly less and not have these direct connections to employers at the end and be taught by me? Or would you rather pay slightly more to have these direct connections and this mentoring and all these other things around or on top of just the pre-recorded videos and templates and other things like that? So whichever one is more value to you, I don't mind. And also for these other ones like Coursera, Zero to Mastery, I'm also affiliated with them. So if you pick any other paid options, I, I benefit regardless. So like just pick whatever is the best for you. So that is the video. I will leave all the links down below. And with that, I hope this was able to help you choose what is the right path for you. And I'll see you in the next video.